All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to mention about the murder of Brigadier Joshua by his actual boss, yeah? And uh, this case is took about almost of uh, almost uh, seven months now, yeah? Almost seven months, you know? Almost seven months, and we see all of this mumbo jumbo, the whole things. You know what I mean? So, let's start. The former head of the problem. Problem is the police inside the police. Yeah? Basically, they are uh, in charge. If the another police do something wrong, and they will be, they are the policing police. The person of national police, Perdi Sambo was sentenced to death by a panel of judges at the Jakarta District Court for being guilty of the premeditated murder, the case of Nofriansa Yosua Hutabarat, alias Brigadier Yosua. In a hearing to announce, announce the verdict Monday, which is yesterday, 13 February 2023, put down the defendant for the sambo with death penalty, said chairman of the panel of judges Wahyu Imam Santoso. When reading out the verdict, Monday, February 13, 2023. Previously, the public prosecutor demanded that Perdi Sambo be sentenced to life imprisonment because he was believed to have violated Article 340 of the Criminal Code in conjunction with Article 55, Paragraph 1 on 1 of the Criminal Code concerning premeditated murder. In the case of obstruction of justice, obstructing the investigation of the murder, Per de Sambo was also considered by the prosecutor to have violated Article 49 in conjunction with Article 33 of Law, Number 19 of 2016, concerning amendment to, the, to Law Number 11 of 2008, concerning information electronic transaction in conjunction with Article 55, Paragraph 11 of the Criminal Code. Per de Sambo, the former head of the Propam Polri, Police Republic Indonesia, obviously, Division who bears two stars on his shoulder, remember that, was charged by the prosecutor because he was believed to be the mastermind behind the premeditated, premeditated murder of his own adjutant. Oh, there you go, in English also it's adjutant. At his official residence at the Durantiga Police Complex Number 46, South Jakarta, on 8 July 2023. Based on the statement of Richard Eliezer, the executor who is a uh, who is a justice collaborator of the Witness and Victim Protection Agency, or as known of as LPSK, said Sambo, uh, Perdi Sambo conveyed the murder plan on the third floor of the Sambos and Putri private house on, on the street of Saguling Tree, South Jakarta. On the same day, several hours before the murder, this house is only less than one kilometer from the murder scenes. On the third floor of the Saguling house, Richard confessed that for the Sambo ordered him to shoot Joshua after Ricky Rigel refused the order. Sambo conveyed a shootout scenario after Joshua abused Prince Chandra Princess Chandrawati. Fuck say, Putri Chandrawati. Per the Sambo even gave him a 9mm ammunition box of Glock 17 and determined the location of the murder. Richard also said the Putri Chandrawati was also beside Perdi Sambo when he revealed the plan. In fact, he had heard Putri mention about CCTV and glove. That child is impudent. You have insulted me. He, he has insulted my dignity. There is no use for this rank, said Richard, while imitating the words of his, his superior holding a pallet symbol of of his scholar. Perdi Sambo then gave order to Richard for him to kill Joshua because he said if he himself killed the uh, if he himself killed him, there will be no one to defend them. Perdi Sambo also conveyed his plan so like this chat. So like this chat. The location it the location is at 46, which is his official residence. Later in of 40, uh, 46, Joshua harassed your uh, harassed Putri Chandrawati, then 
Then Putri will shout at you, respond. Then Joshua was found out. Joshua shoot you. You shoot back Joshua. Joshua who died, said Richard imitating Perdisambos order while serving. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, Perdisambos order while serving as the crown witness at the South Jakarta District Court. Tuesday, December 13, 2022. Richard said at that time, Perdisambo conveyed his order clearly and made sure Putri Chandrawati heard them. Then Perdi explained the scenario and strengthened to Richard. Hmm. We start, we, we can, we start smelling the big rat in here. You don't have to be afraid anymore because your position is the first you two... Uh, Let me explain again. You don't have to be afraid anymore because your position is the first for you to defend my wife. The second one, you defend yourself because he shot first, said Richard, repeating per the Stambos word. Richard admitted that the time Putri Chandrawati had spoken with Per Rich Sambo, even though it sounded vague, Richard admits that her Putri mentioned the order him, then ordered him to reload his Glock 17 Uh, gun. The defendant and the victim then went to Perdi Sambo's official residence at the Durantigas Complex, number 46, South Jakarta, with the alibi of self-isolation for COVID-19. Hmm. Joshua's execution took place between 17-11 and the uh, 17-16. When Perdi Sambo arrived at the Durantiga Police Complex, official resident Perdi Sambo ordered strong order strong to call oh per the sambo ordered strongly to call Joshua inside while he was in the back his garden suddenly per the sambo grabbed Joshua by the back of the neck and pushed him to the front of the first floor stairs Joshua pays per the sambo and Richard Eliezer while strong <laughs> while quote ma'ruf keep say they try to translate in English is a strong is a quote while Kuat Ma'ru was behind Sambo and Rick Rigel was on standby if Joshua fought back. Kuat Ma'ru also prepared a knife that he brought from Magalang, just in case Joshua resisted. Meanwhile, Putri Chandrawati was in the room on the first floor, only three meters from Brigadier Jai's position. In his denial, Perdi Sambo never ordered Richard to kill. He said he only asked Richard to beat Joshua when he asked Joshua to confirmation about the, for confirmation about the rape. He also denied having participated in shooting Joshua and only sought the wall and landing of the tires for a shootout scenario. They said, Sambo, he did to save Richard. Oh, what a bullshit. However, the shooting scenario collapsed when important evidence, namely the CCTV footage of the security post at the Durantiga police complex, was revealed. The video shows Joshua still alive and in the garden when Perdi Sambo arrived at the office of his resident, official resident. The recording of Joshua still alive, annual of Perdi Sambo statement that were distributed to his annual of all of Perdi Sambo sta uh, statements that were distributed to his police college. college. Not even half-hearted, the members of the police who were dragged into this case reached nearly a hundred people. In a meeting with commission, uh, the third commission of the uh, Indonesian House of Representatives, National Police Chief General Listo Sig Sigit Prabowo said the number of uh, poli uh, police personnel being investigated in connection with the murder of Brigadier Joshua Huta Barat, Brigadier Jai, reached 97 people. We have examined, we have examined 97 persons. 35 people are suspected of having violated the professional code of ethics, said the National Police Chief during a meeting with Commission 3 of Indonesian Parliament at the Parliament Complex in Senayan on Wednesday, August 24, 2022. A detail the 35 personnel who violated the code of ethics came from various ranks, including Inspector General of police, one person, Brigada General Police, three per, uh, people, Combat Police, 16 Police, then AKBP, 7 Police, Compol, I don't know all of this, sorry guys, all of this fucking, 
abbreviation for people. I can pay it five if two, two if da, one bripka, one first brigadier, second brigadier, and second brigadier, second barada. Meanwhile, there are six members of the police from the propam division to the, to the detective who are currently awaiting their verdict in the obstructing investigation of Joshua premeditated murder. They are former one-star general who is the Purdy Sambos direct subordinate Hendra Kurniawan, former chief commissioners, commissioner Agus Nur Patria, former adjutant senior commissioner Arif Rahman Arifin, former police commissioner Chak Putranto and by Kuni Wibowo, and former adjutant police commissioner who won Adi Mahakarya Police Academy class of 2010 Irpan Widyanto. Whoa! From the statement of the defendant and the expert presented in this case, the six former member of the National Police could be entangled in Ferdi Sambo case because of cultural hierarchy and strong chain of command within the police, so that they were forced to be trapped in power relation of Ferdi Sambo, who at that time served as the head of the program police division, which is position respected and feared by members of the police force. So there you have it for today. There you have it for today. Oh, for fuck's sake. So here we go, guys. I hope we all see the connection to the rest of the video that I have. But basically, this is about Perdi Sambo, the person that killed his adjutant. And uh, it's still a mystery why he killed him. Everyone say it's about over the sexual fucking harassment, but it's not true. It's, I think, things to do with money because... Uh, like I say, Perdi Sambo is a police inside police. He's been arresting a lot of drug dealers, which is the drug is disappeared. 2.5 ton of the packing drugs has been disappeared. 6 ton in total is disappeared. We don't know where the, the drug is, which is we all know. Sambo or Sambo's wife resolved the drugs. Then after he resolved the drugs, he tried to get Jesua to play with his game. But Joshua didn't want to play in his game. He doesn't want to be a drug dealer. Joshua is an honest person. So what happening is they kill him. There's a there's a there's a group of them, you know, there is a how do you call it? There's a gang of Sambo, the one that did the murder. So for you guys that have been listening to this video, I hope you have a and more understanding of the case and uh, to Sambo you can draw in hell to his wife lucky he only got 20 years in jail I wish he go also for life sentence or he can drop in hell and for the rest of them uh, I wish people like uh, Josu, uh, Richard Eliezer admitted and tell more about this case because this is not about sexual harassment. This is pure, pure the swindling of the drugs. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you guys understand this. And uh, looking forward to hear your guys' comment. And please uh, give me a, uh, give me a, what do you call that? Give me update of the whole thing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.